400 years have gone by since the invention of the microscope, and during that time, countless discoveries have been made thanks to it. Today, a revolution in microscope technology is about to take place. It will make possible further advancement in the observation of living matter with an optical microscope. Photonics is about to make optical microscopy take a gigantic step ahead. The new photonic microscope system transforms a weak image from an optical microscope into a clear one by electronic contrast enhancement. Images which would otherwise become lost in the moment-by-moment -moment changing view are subjected to high-speed image processing by computer. They're converted first into digital signals and then back into analog signals, after which they're sent to either a display monitor or to a videotape recorder. Here are the components of the photonic microscope system. First, we have an optical microscope and the C1966 TV camera head. Next comes the image processor, which transforms the image into digital signals and does the high-speed image processing. The processor is operated from a keyboard. The processed image appears on a TV monitor. The image can also be recorded on a videotape recorder and played back. For further refinement, image processing is done by a host computer. Here you see a mouse kidney sarcoma cell. The photonic microscope system has a unique contrast enhancement function that makes possible observations under high resolution. Bothersome mottle, or optical imperfections, dust and illumination irregularities can be removed by mottle subtraction. This can be used together with the rolling average function, which averages the images of several frames in order to reduce image noise. In addition, the time can be reduced to 1 30th with time-lapse re-recording.
Another powerful function is that of arithmetic operation. Let's use it here to observe the process of cell division. Now let's observe this goldfish fibroblast cell. First, we use model subtraction to remove the unnecessary background. Next, we use the display gain expansion function to enhance the luminance. Over the desired range, this function's efficiency makes it possible to observe low contrast images more clearly. Here are bronchial cilia from a swine. Using the spatial differential function enhances the contours. Another great advantage of this system is that its high-speed image processing enables us to follow even the rapid movements of something like an amoeba. Thanks to its high-speed processing ability, this system can offer the tracing function. With this function, a moving image can be subtracted from another image after a set interval. When the accumulated results are displayed, the trajectory movement is also shown. Here again is a goldfish fibroblast cell sample. Watch the movements of the granules. Using the rolling average function not only reduces the noise in the image, it can also be used to enhance a certain movement by suitable selection of the image interval and the parameters chosen for the averaging. In a rolling average image, the fast movements within the subject are eliminated and the slowly moving parts can be more clearly seen. On the other hand, using the jumping average function will emphasize the movements. This function will integrate the specified number of sequential images and display them as they're accumulated and averaged. Here you can compare the processed images on the right with the raw images on the left. Still another feature is the spatial filtering function. 
For low contrast images, the contours can be enhanced and noise can be removed by smoothing the image. This function can be used in many ways by changing the matrix values. Here is a diatom. Watch the enhancement of this image by level slicing, which divides the image into two levels over a wide luminance range. The luminance level can be set as desired. Several luminance levels can also be set, making dimensional observation possible from several images. Observation of blood vessels, like the guppy blood vessel seen here, can be very difficult. However, by using the arithmetic operation function, living blood vessels can be clearly viewed without having to stain the sample. The absorption spectrum of oxyhemoglobin shows only 10% absorption in the vicinity of 600 nanometers, which we shall call region A. However, at 580 nanometers, which we shall call region B, it shows 70% absorption. We can use these absorption characteristics of oxyhemoglobin to apply the arithmetic operation function in order to generate a clear image. First, a 600 nanometer interference filter is set over the microscope light source and this image is recorded. This is image A. Next, the filter is changed to a 580 nanometer filter and image B is recorded. When image B is subtracted from image A by arithmetic operation, the blood vessel containing a lot of oxyhemoglobin becomes clearly visible. We've introduced only a few of the revolutionary features of the photonic microscope system. They're just a sampling of the features that this newly developed system can offer. Images which were difficult to obtain with optical microscopes can now be easily obtained. The photonic microscope system can be used in many ways, not only in biology and medicine, but also in a field like semiconductor technology. We are continuing our efforts to further develop the photonic microscope system into one which can capture every photon emitted by a sample of living matter and in doing so pioneer the advance into new areas of research in the phenomena of life. Photonics, the technology of photons, is about to illuminate new unexplored worlds. <laughs>